Yeah, there's a lot of these sort of lore hmm. notes around. Like, way more than there are in, like, Dark Souls. So the church sealed itself off once Werewolf Night began. That seems like a fair thing to do, honestly. I mean, unless it was all their fault, which I'm getting that impression. It's it's all their fault, all your fault, or both. <laughs> all mm. of the above. But yeah, uh, first off, we're just head to toe in blood. Nice, nice. Oh, your fancy good, a good suit. Look. You haven't, uh, have you died yet? Nope. No, this is nice. Is there no this... death run? Dark Souls, no. what's that? I don't know. <laughs> I can tell you right now, this is not a no death run. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, go back and edit the footage. Yeah, those statues are just kind of everywhere. Those were definitely people. People, you know, no one would build those statues and then put them there. They're far too elaborate. So those crows can actually get really annoying. They bark like yeah. dogs. This is intense. The music swell and everything. Yeah. Uh, but also the the like the lamp posts are being held by by like people sculptures and like they did that like hello friend I can't help but wonder if they knew uh, what was gonna happen oh all oh, rad that werewolf's covered in worms so yeah this is the first boss that most people are gonna find um the biggest wasn't really much fanfare to that <laughs> the uh. Oh. The biggest enemy in this fight is the camera. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Oh, what were those things called? A koosh ball? Is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm glad we've oh. finally gotten to a, a graphical standard where we can render realistic koosh ball effects. <laughs> oh. It's a wonderful time to be alive. But yeah, um... He doesn't really do my, my, very much damage aside from the dunk move. I don't know. You're doing okay damage. This seems very Dark Souls, like just a just a teeny bit, but not like a chip. But yeah, uh, he's pretty simple for a first boss. Probably the most challenging first boss in a Souls game, aside from. Three and demons, which I haven't played. Honestly, you just need to hack away at their butt. The, the classic Dark Souls move. Yeah. Hit the butt. And charge attacks seem to do quite well. Yeah, and charge attacks are pretty easy to get off, get on this one, simply because the cleric beast has times where it'll just stand completely still. Lots of chance to punish. Also, this happens. Oh! Oh, that was its eye! Got him! Dang! And yeah, first boss down! Well done. <laughs> There's blood raining from the sky now? You yep. might need a bath. <laughs> nah. That's fine. You're the new daredevil. <laughs> So yeah, uh, a lantern will appear after every boss, so you can just warp back to the Hunter's Dream if you need to. It's convenient. Also, speaking of blood... Uh, yeah, I've edited out, like, good majority of the loading screens. Also, yeah, this happened. No, seems legit. I trust her completely. Will channel them into your strength. She's definitely a vampire. You will hunt these, <laughs> and I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit. 
Did you speak with Germa? He was a hunter long, long ago, but now serves only to advise them. He is obscure, unseen in a dreaming world. Still, he stays here, in this dream. Such is his purpose. Ah, the little ones, inhabitants of the dream. They find hunters like yourself, worship and serve them. Speak words they do not. But still, aren't they sweet? They are. I love them. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the doll is the person who will take care of our leveling. Like the uh, Maid in Black and Demon Souls and also the Emerald Herald in 2. They also kind of straight up confirmed that this is not the real world. Yeah! This is a dream. Mm -hmm. Also, here's the weapon that I love. The Kirkhammer, which I should be buying. Yep, there we go. Um, As made famous by Star Trek. Yeah. yeah. Though I can't use it yet. Mm, you need the stats. Yeah, I need a bit more strength, I think. healing church hunters, so the hunters are from the healing church as well. Uh, hunters kind of come from all over. Like, almost every place has its own set of hunters. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, and this is... <laughs> that was me being uh, dual-shocked. <laughs> uh, if you like, hold X and do a specific motion with the controller on. Uh, it'll do a jester, which happened there. Ah. Uh. Also, yeah, this just allows us to fortify our weapons. Make them gooder. Saw plus one. Hell yeah. Uh. So I come over here because I thought there was a event to happen, but also those, uh, that little tree stump there will actually be full of the skeleton babies, like what's right here. Love them. They're great. Insight. Yep. You can buy things with insight. So, insight is similar to humanity from the Dark Souls games? Yeah. Not really. Okay. Like, it has a lot of different implications. Okay. I mean, it, but... just, it just jump cuts back to you being awake, which is interesting. That's very, uh, cinematic. <laughs> well, a lot of that is also me cutting out the loading screen. But... Oh, fine, fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I can tell you have uh, 349 blood echoes and 4 insight in the top right corner there. Mm -hmm. Okay. You'll notice that I actually got those from the inside, I should say, from both discovering and beating the boss. Hmm. Do you lose insight when you die? No. Okay. Uh, at this point in the game, it's just a kind of second form of currency. Also, I run past the werewolves because I'm a huge coward and don't have as many molotovs as I did. They seem like they should be faster. Well. well. <laughs> They're pretty fast. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Inhibited only by their pathing ability. So yeah, I end up finding them anyway, because I guess they decide to chase me. Yeah, they're, um... They're kind of difficult if you don't have Molotovs at this stage of the game. I will say, I do like the uh, cinematic flair of 
shooting them in the face. <laughs> well, if I was good, that would have ended in a parry, but... Mm. Yeah, now we're going down here. Okay, so you've fallen down some barrels into the wood dimension. Yes. <laughs> now you're in a sewer. Well... Upper sewer. Yarnum is really tall. Yeah, so remember mm -hmm. those, um... Those humanoid enemies? The town people that we were fighting? Right, all of them, yes. All those people you killed. Yeah, this is the next step in their evolution. Oh, they're teen wolves! <laughs> yeah! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, they, they are young, budding werewolves in love. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't know what to do with all these hormones. Mm. Goodbye. It, Whoa! You know... <laughs> Get They're wrecked. these young werewolves, and you just come along and rip their heart out <laughs> and throw them off a cliff. You are a heartbreaker. Yeah. Literal heartbreaker. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna break up with all these werewolves. I, I gotta say, this character is just too sexy for this. Yeah, he's so, so edgy. All of the teen wolves uh, just all fall in love with him. They're lining up. Oh, everyone just has the hots for Sir Bleak Soul. Yep. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to call him Daikatana, but I'm definitely going to call him Daikatana. <laughs> which, for the folks at home, a long time ago I ran a Monster Hearts game, and uh, Kobuddy was a special guest as the um, arch nemesis of Oatmeal Raisin's character, um, which meant he was basically like a little bit older and a little bit cooler than him in every way. And uh, he also named himself Dai Katana. To be fair, that was your idea. Was that? I don't yeah, remember. What? <laughs> it was. It was a blur. But he was. He was a slightly more anime than. Cliff Edge, that's right. Didn't you yeah. Photoshop Sharingan eyes onto him? I don't. It was a long time ago. It's all a blur, <laughs> really. But yeah, rats. Yeah, meanwhile, rodents of unusual size. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Checks out, Dark Souls, yeah. Uh, I can't remember if I showed this off or get a good look at it, but they actually have something really messed up with their eyes. There we go. You can kind of see it there, but... That they're glowing, or...? That it almost looks like... pus and mucus. Oh. Only the edgiest of enemies for... Also, oh, there's uh, this friend. Sir Bleak Soul. Teen Wolf with Spear. And we have our first new set of clothes. This game is also very wet. Oh. Oh, we've got the hat. The iconic Bloodborne hat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep, here we go. Unannounced. On By cover of night. On our way to Renfair. <laughs> This, this comes with a mask, so as not to get blood all over your mouth. Seems like a good idea. Uh-oh. Also, yeah, Some there's- zombos. There's these things. Those were zombies. Water zombies. Yeah, we, we seem to have fallen into Resident Evil. <laughs> They can actually be kind of annoying to deal with because of just the, how they're plastered to the ground. Wouldn't the overhead and like uh, pole arm mode be effective? Probably, but <laughs> eh. This is also a lot quicker. So it does seem to be the trade off. I'm not ashamed to admit it, uh, I get lost pretty heavily in this area. I cut a lot <laughs> of it out, but... Because these sewers are just... they're massive. Could it be because everything is the same color, and also there's fog? It doesn't help, but also... 
there's a lot of like side passages you can go down and just a lot of areas it has a this lot in of common with, oh, sorry. it has this in common with Dark Souls 3 as well where like a lot of it really just looking at it it seems like there's a, a lighting effect uh, you know, there's like shaders on the the objects, and then there's colored light that's being cast on them, um, and like uh, they're wet. But nothing. A lot of things don't really seem to have a color. Like a lot of things seem to just be the same color of gray as like their base color, and the only mm. thing that's going on is the lighting. What was that sound? Uh don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, this area is pretty freaking big. Do we see any ghosts yet? No. Just zombies, uh... Zombies, crow. werewolves, vampires. Uh... Big fat crows. A Frankenstein. Yep, that's right. A possible Frankenstein. Potential Frankenstein. Oh, yeah, the actual reason why those crows are so big and fat is because they've been drinking so much blood from dead people. I don't think blood does that to you. <laughs> I mean, I, like, if you're like, hey... Divac, why is this thing in this game called Bloodborne happening? Like, I would have guessed blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, blood, um... Oof. A lot of things happen in regards to blood in this game. Also that! Madman's knowledge! You'll go mad! Oh, it gives you insight. Okay. Yeah, that's a very... Lovecraftian idea. Mm. Eldritch magic. Mm. Yeah, we're, we're starting to stray off course a little, I think. We're hitting all the stops. I don't know what you're <laughs> yeah. talking about. There's another <laughs> another kind of monster, which is a Cthulhu, which is, a, which is another category of monster. Ooh, maybe we'll see a teen Cthulhu. A teen Cthulhu? <laughs> oh, man. He's got so many feelings, and they span across multiple dimensions. But yeah, uh... That music from earlier. Like a bell music. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, that just sounds all sorts of bad. Oh no, this reminds me of my favorite anime, Macross Delta. <laughs> so yeah, we got a music box now. Also another shortcut. I feel like you shouldn't be opening these obviously locked areas during some kind of hunt and werewolf infestation. Look, if it gets me to where I'm going faster, I need to do it. No, it's fine. All crimes are legal. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's during the purge. Yeah. Yola and Gascoigne. Yeah, I'm sure nothing will really come of that. The fact that it's a usable item has no importance whatsoever. Of course. Oh no, you don't use it. You don't get to use it to change people back from being werewolves? No. What? I get to soothe their <laughs> savage beast hearts? What? That's extremely rude.
boats, huh? Sewer boats. Perhaps, much like Venice, those, these channels were used for transportation. You know, for a city where there's a lot of blood, this also seems really unsanitary. Oh, right, I forgot that popped up. Yeah, you're on air. <laughs> yeah, so... Coming to you live. I've got to mention this in the thread, but yeah, I'm using uh, PS4 streaming to record this. Because I don't have a capture card, and PS4's recording capabilities are trash. Well, don't look now, but there might be some people watching. <laughs> well. I mean, that, that's what the eyes are for. <laughs> Whoa! Crossfade! Yeah. Excuse me. We got some technology in this. I didn't know I was going to be guessing in a professional let's play. <laughs> okay, look, I have to cut out some of the crap. All the backtracking. Uh. Oh. oh. A hunter, are you? And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all night. Here. To welcome the new hunter. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. So I don't know about that. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. No matter. Without fear in our different from the beasts themselves. What are you still doing here? Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. Time to shake it off. Yep, time to shake it off. Yeah! To be fair, that's totally something that he would do unironically. <laughs> yeah. This character definitely, if you're, yeah. if you're role playing appropriately. <laughs> so yeah, those okay, things okay. I knocked down oh. uh, contain items. Also, there's rats. Oh, bloodstones. Bloodstones. That wasn't even a thing that I listed off on my list of blood things. <laughs> Also, the rats have throwing knives for some reason or another. They were playing catch. Um, ooh, Sawspear. So, Sawspear is like the Shakespeare, but of... In this dimension. This dimension, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, you know, famed writer of, um, Hamlet, but with werewolves. Uh, Romeo and Juliet, but with werewolves. Um... Yeah. I'd watch it. I actually probably wouldn't, but... Also sonnets, but with vampires. Some of that has leaked over into our dimension. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when the uh, boundaries between realities are warped and whatever. Yeah, the... Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the saw spear is a pretty easy weapon to use pretty simple. Well, it's a spear with a saw on it, so I would guess <laughs> it would be pretty easy. It, it looks like a um, another saw cleaver type weapon. Yeah, there's a... Uh, it's... The saw cleaver and the saw spear are the ones that really uh, use that. There's one in the DLC that is kind of close, but is still a lot different than what uh, these two are. 
Because these two basically have the same untransformed state. Okay. But transformed, they have a different moveset. Yeah. Also, more crows. Man, your reaction to hearing monster noises is stop and look around to see where they're coming from instead of go up the ladder, which is very <laughs> different than mine would have been. Whoa! Oh, hello. Also, yeah, Whoa. friend. You can't stop the juggernaut! <laughs> <laughs> oh, instead of having armor on it, it's just big and creepy looking. Nice. Well, this little piggy went to market. Oh! <laughs> Same strategy, still applies. <laughs> yep, just attack the butt. Whoa! If you were like, hey, how'd you think that boar was gonna die? Explode was not <laughs> not the thing that I would have guessed, for sure. Well, uh... No shower of blood here. Yeah, the reason for that is because they didn't want that huge of a physics object. Ah, good point. <laughs> so tell me about these hunter badges you've been picking up. Uh, they give you new a access to new weapons in the shop. Oh. Um, so they increase your trainer level. Yes. <laughs> uh, the sword hunter badge that I got from killing the cleric beast gave me access to the Kirk hammer and the repeating pistol. While well, that gives me the option to buy the um, the what's it the saw spear if I either missed it or I don't know want it again. Oh, okay. So you can't. So if you miss items in in the world. Uh, then you still have the option to get them through other means. Yes, actually. I'm pretty sure every weapon in the main game can be bought in some form. Is that's there a cool. dragon up here? Is there a dragon <laughs> that's breathing on all those guys? And no. Oh. No, you were actually supposed to come uh, from the first ladder before the board, and you were supposed to get hit by that giant uh, rolling flaming ball. Oh, uh, it wasn't a Okay, it wasn't yeah. a dragon, it was a bomb. That's but fine. Sir Dark Soul is too, uh... Sir Bleak Soul, get it right! Bleak Soul, Bleak Soul I'm sorry. Yeah. Invincibility frames! Yeah! Less invincibility frames. <laughs> I might have actually died here, I can't remember. Are these guys gonna take... Well, don't spoil it for the folks. Um, <laughs> are these guys gonna turn into werewolves too because they don't they seem like they're turning into something else uh no there's not really any werewolf variation of these enemies it looks like he just wants to brick punch yeah he just these he, are just large men he has a brick and he wants to use it oh coins yeah those are basically the um the prism stones or whatever they're called in Dark Souls 1 oh yeah okay where you drop them and see if a ledge will kill you. Oh, yeah. So, um... <gasps> How rude. If I didn't do that, they would break out and... Small me, so. But, oh. but well, now we'll okay. never know how much that doggy in the window was. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I like that that one has a waggly too. For your first strike, that's uh, it's pretty nice. Nice. I did mention this the first time we fought them, but uh, guns are actually very effective at dealing with them. Because it, it seems yeah, to Dark's, stop them dead, yeah. Yeah. Dark Souls just... with guns seems like you know the way to the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> and I accidentally skipped that because it just automatically starts once you get near. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so once we progress in the game a little bit, we'll actually get a couple options for that. that Meanwhile, we just have to listen to an angry old lady insult us. Well, she's got me there. 
She knows all about your swords. Your trick weapons. Yeah. So yeah, that's just back where we met Eileen. Okay. Who's Eileen? Oh, uh, that was the lady in the um, Plague Doctor mask. Ah, okay, that's her name. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, the, these people who don't give their names. She I actually, uh, yeah, I can't remember if she introduced herself or not, but... Oh, well. The hunter that's cooler than us in every way. Yes. yes I remember her. <laughs> One day we will beat her. 